all patients are not the same. So you look at a room full of myeloma patients, some are gonna do extraordinarily well, and some are gonna do not so well. And the challenge is, how do you see those patients up front so you can adjust their treatment so that you pay a lot of attention to the ones who've got more aggressive disease and you can be a bit more gentle with the one with low risk disease. And our current um, stratifiers, if you took that room, you could find a percentage chance that somebody would fit into the high risk group. But for any individual patient, you can't really know if they're high risk or low risk. And so what we're trying to do is to use artificial intelligence to sort through all of the factors that we have and then not just look at presentation, but look after they've had a cycle of treatment, look after they've had two cycles of treatment and build in whether someone has had a transplant and a good response, didn't have a transplant, had a poor response. And if you put all of those factors together and use this artificial intelligence or machine learning, you really can find prognosis for individual patients. And so I think that's really gonna be useful in the future and not, not the far distant future either. I think we know all of the variables, but integrating everything together is such a good idea and will allow us to really tailor treatment for individual patient, patient use.